Uh, solving more trig equations here. Uh, now, I just came back from watching Mad Max Fury Road. Saw it yesterday. Fantastic movie. Uh, and it got me to thinking about, like, series of movies. Uh, that's what we've got coming up here. We've got a series of three movies. Um, a trilogy, if you will. Um, now, this trilogy is called The Tricky Three. Um, I know. This is pretty exciting stuff. Um, the first... So there's going to be three tricky trick questions that you're going to have to deal with. Three genres, I guess. Uh, the first one I'm going to call trick one. Uh, let's call it square or die uh, in the tradition of the Die Hard movies. So here's the uh, sort of equation that we're going to be working with here. Three times tan squared theta equals one. Now, it's important that you understand what this actually says. Uh, it's three times tan theta squared equals one um, just so we're fully understanding this i'm going to rewrite it now generally you wouldn't do this but i'm going to rewrite it just so we've got full understanding of what's happening three tan theta squared so that's three times all of this squared equals one now this and this they're the same thing they're equivalent expressions or equivalent equations i guess uh, so just keep that in mind. If you see tan squared theta, what it actually means is all of tan theta squared. All right, uh, to business. Uh, let's use a different color there. Now, the first step here, it says three times tan squared theta equals one. We need to get rid of this three. So we'll move it to the other side. It's three times, so it's going to be divide. So tan squared theta equals one divided by three. Uh, pretty easy so far. Uh, if we were doing it on this side, it would look like tan theta all squared equals one third. Now, again, everything I'm doing on this side, uh, it's just for clarity. This is what your working should look like. I just want you to understand that this means squared. Now, the next step is to get rid of the squared. Uh, now, when we get rid of the squared, we do a square root. So we're going to square root both sides. So this side's just going to become tan theta. And this side's going to become the square root of 1 over 3. Uh, now that same thing happens here and you can see that these things are now exactly the same. Okay, so I'll just ignore this right hand side now. Now again, that's for clarity. This is how our working would actually look. Uh, now, bit of a problem uh, because the square root of anything is a plus minus and this is where the trick comes into it uh, so this is plus the square root of one third or negative the square root of one third uh, so I guess from here uh, this equation goes into two parts tan theta equals uh, the square root of one third and tan theta equals negative the square root of one third now, this can be rewritten, tan theta equals the square root of 1 over the square root of 3. And this can also be rewritten, tan theta equals negative the square root of 1 over the square root of 3. Now, the square root of 1 is 1, so now we just have 1 over root 3. And here we have negative 1 over root 3. Whew. Okay, all of that work now has produced these super important things. So tan theta equals one third or tan theta equals negative one third. Now in order to solve this, uh, we probably need one more piece of information. We need to know uh, what domain this question is under. Uh, now I really should have done that at the start. Let's sort that out. So you can see I've gone with the classic 3 tan squared theta equals 1, and I'm going between 0 and 2 pi. Now the problem is that it's split similarly in a similar way to when you solve a quadratic. We've got these two things, tan theta equals 1 on root 3, and tan theta equals negative 1 on root 3. We just need to solve these independently. So unit circle... Now, tan theta equals 1 on root 3. You can pull up your table. Tan theta equals 1 on root 3. That's going to be pi on 6. Again, you can use your uh, standard triangles if you want to. Uh, so, 
pi on 6 looks like it's what it's going to be. Now, tan theta can be both positive and negative. So looking at my cast, the positive bit's going to exist here and here, and the negative bit's going to exist here and here. So what I'm actually going to end up with is four answers under this. I'm going to end up with pi on 6 in this quadrant, uh, and in this quadrant, pi on 6, pi on 6. And so that's this one. And I'm also going to end up with pi on 6 in this quadrant, and pi on 6 in this quadrant. Finally, that means that I've got four answers. Theta will be equal to pi on 6, or 5 pi on 6, or this one, which is 7 pi on 6, or this one, which is 11 pi on 6. Uh, so this is the first in our series of, in our trilogy of tricky questions. Uh, there's a squared here. You've got a square root stuff, this step here. Don't forget a plus or minus. That splits it into two. And then once you've got these things, you can just answer it as normal. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, there's a few of these for you to, pract uh, to practice. And in the next video, we'll look at uh, trick number two.